Good morning guys, it is Arika Misha and today is Memorial Day. Let me first start off by saying let's all not forget to remember and honor um, our military uh, people. Uh, also want to say happy, mil happy, I'm sorry, happy Memorial Day to everyone and also want to give thanks to God of course. Now Today is Memorial Day guys and I just wanted to come and show you guys what I'm cooking today for Memorial Day. Uh, most people uh, celebrate and cook over the weekends but I chose to do it today on uh, Memorial Day. I am off so I was like hey I'll just go ahead and do it on Memorial Day. So let's get into our menu guys. Alright the first thing I have here in front I have some chicken wings that of course you guys know I seasoned and cooked and prepped last night. We've got our chicken wings here. I've got some um, flats. I've got some chicken wings, the drums. I've got all that good stuff going. And those have been marinating overnight. So we've got the fried chicken wings. Uh, we've got our Oscar Mayer wieners. Oscar Mayer hot dogs. We've got two packs of those. We've got some bubble burgers. So we're going to have some burgers. And you guys see all my cheese back here. We're going to have macaroni and cheese, of course. And of course, you guys see all the hot dog and hamburger buns back there. So we're going to have some fried chicken wings. We're going to have hot dogs, hamburgers, and macaroni and cheese, guys. And of course, I have plenty of sweets. I did bake some chocolate chip oatmeal cookies for the girls. Um, and I also made Rice Krispie treats. So of course, you guys will see those videos when I post those as well. But just wanted to let you guys know what I was cooking today for Memorial Day. Alright guys, let's get into the cooking. Okay, I am back and I just wanted to show you guys how I prepare my macaroni and cheese for the oven. Alright, we've got my pasta here all nice and hot. I like working with the pasta when it's fresh uh, from the pot, nice and hot. Uh, the first thing I'm going to add, I'm going to add some butter. All right, and y'all know I've been doing this forever, so I just pretty much just, you know, add what I add. Um, I'd say as far as this butter, it's about, about uh, four tablespoons of butter. Four tablespoons of butter. You don't need too much butter. So, got my four tablespoons of butter. This is going to be quick and easy, guys. Got my four tablespoons of butter. Let's go ahead and get that in there. While the noodles are hot, it will melt my butter quickly for me. So I like to get my butter in there with the noodles. And it definitely helps, you know, keep my noodles from sticking together while I'm getting everything else ready to go in here. So, and this is two boxes. I forgot to tell you guys, this is two 16 ounce boxes of elbow noodles. And this is the Publix elbow noodles. So, all right, let's get our butter melted here. Get it all nice and stirred in real good. That all mixed in. Okay, so we've got our butter all nice and mixed in there. Let's get our milk in there. Now the milk, I really do just eyeball the milk. So right now that's about, that's about, a, it's about two cups of milk. Yeah, that's about two cups of milk that I just poured in there. This is a lot of macaroni and cheese. There's a lot of noodles. So I've got two cups of milk in there. Two cups of milk in there already. Let me pour another. Yeah, I'm going to need more milk. All right, so I'm pouring another cup of milk. So now we've got about three cups of milk. Definitely going to need it because I still have to add all the cheese. So we've got four tablespoons of butter. We've got about four cups of milk because we want it to be nice and creamy and cheesy. Let's get that mixed up real good here. All right. Uh oh, oh yeah, I think y'all going noodles. All right, let me make sure you guys can see real good. Okay, all right. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's start adding our cheese. 
Now, I've got the two block cheese I've already cut, and as you guys can see, I cut it into little, just little small cubes. I like adding the uh, cube cheese, as well as the shredded cheese, when I cook it this way. I'm sure you guys have seen several ways that I cook my mac and cheese by now, if you've been watching my videos. I cook my mac and cheese several ways. There's so many ways to cook it. This way is the old school way. This is how I felt like cooking it today. Old school for Memorial Day. All right, so we got our little squares all mixed up in there. All right, let's start adding our bags of shredded cheese. Now this is gonna be real cheesy. Just so you guys know, it's going to be real cheesy. Because we got, I like my macaroni and cheese nice and cheesy. So. Alright. Got that one bag in there. Because you guys know the cheese is going to melt anyway, so. Alright, we got that second bag in there. that all mixed up. Get that mac and cheese all mixed up. Let's get our milk from the bottom here. Okay. And you just take your time and stir it all up. A lot of cheese going on here. All right. I might have to add more milk. Let's get another thing of cheese in here. All right. So now we've got three bags of shredded in there already. Just take your time and slowly get it all mixed in. Take it section by section. Getting it all mixed up. Oh yeah, that's looking real good and cheesy. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and add my eggs. Now to this, because it's so much mac and cheese, I'm gonna add let's see, I'm gonna add about I think I'll probably add about four eggs to this. Your egg is what helps everything stick together. Helps your mac and cheese, you know, stick together. So yeah, about four eggs because this is a big, um, this is going to be two pans of mac and cheese because I did two um, boxes of noodles. So we're going to get these eggs stirred in here real good. Right, let's see where we're at. Okay. Get those eggs stirred in real good, guys. All right, you guys see how I do it. I'll probably add one more bag of cheese, maybe two. Make it real, real cheesy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get it panned up in the oven, guys. All right, I will be back. Okay guys, I just pulled the grilled hot dogs out of the oven and as you guys can see, I normally with my hot dogs, I just take the knife and I make little cuts across them before I cook them and then when they cook, they look all nice and grilled with the little cuts in them. The girls love when I do that. Let me take you guys in so you guys can see nice grilled hot dogs in the oven. Alright, and we also pulled that mac and cheese out. Everybody loves my mac and cheese. As soon as my camera want me to be great and focus, bring you guys out. Yep, I did two pans of the mac and cheese. And they look so good. And the whole house smells like uh, mac and cheese. Come on, camera. Thank you very much. Taking y'all in so y'all can get in there with the mac and cheese. It looks amazing. And yes, Y'all see the green parsley. 
yes look at that mac and cheese it's all nice and cheesy it is hot i just took it out with the hot dogs so i had the mac and cheese on top and the hot dogs at the bottom grilling yep that is the mac and cheese guys i just put the hamburgers in the oven so those are gonna go ahead and cook up i'm gonna start to fry this chicken all right y'all it is memorial day let's get it done guys i'll be back okay guys it is time to fry our chicken we've got our macaroni and cheese done our hot dogs and our hamburgers are all grilled up over there on the table um so now the last thing to do is fry our chicken wings all right and i've got my oil all nice and ready got my chicken wings all nicely floured so we can go ahead and get those all cooked up dropping my flat first get those flats in there see if I can fit one more flat in there Nah, I'll let that be enough. I'm not going to overcrowd it. All right, you guys see we've got our flats all dropped in the oil. So I'm going to go ahead and let those fry up, guys. Uh, go ahead and get the chicken all fried up, and I will be back to show you guys the finishing Memorial Day dinner okay guys everything is on the table we've got our fried chicken wings taking you guys into the fried chicken wings yes they taste good yes i've already had one yes all right we've got our fried chicken wings let's move you guys over here bear me one second all right we've got our hot dogs and hamburgers over there our bubble burgers our oscar Mayer hot dogs and I showed you guys the mac and cheese. Zoom you guys out. I've already shown you that. All right, guys. This is Memorial Day uh, dinner. Happy Memorial Day to everyone. This is Arika Misha. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on all my social media, guys. Especially on Instagram. And don't forget, guys. Knowledge is power. Thanks, guys. Bye.